Hello everyone, it's Charlton. Please subscribe to my channel, tap that notification bell, and like this video. It does help me keep making videos, and I would appreciate it. I really would, majorly. All right. So Joe Biden has issued, uh, you know, a video. I put it on his Twitter account about an hour ago uh, for the first time kind of publicly speaking about, you know, all the various past situations where he's, um, you know, he's seen making women uncomfortable or, or you know, Lucy uh, Flores is the one who came public. There's been a couple others since then. She was on State of the Union with Jake Tapper. I saw the interview and she was pretty, you know, pretty adamant about um, how it made her feel and so forth. I'm not going to go through all these things case by case. I, you know, listen, I'm a Republican and uh, although, uh, you know, things have in me are, um, I don't know, I'm just not lining myself up with anybody, you know. I voted for Trump. There's a ton of stuff I like about Trump. And um, there's some things that I don't like. I don't like that he has to be master. And his, you know, and his supporters seem to just demand absolute allegiance. I'm not okay with that. But whatever, um... I tell you though, dude, and watching this video, I'll let them, I'm going to play it right now, obviously. Um, if anybody can give him a run uh, in 2020, it's this dude here. I mean, I kind of like Joe Biden. I think a lot of people do. And I think, I think the Trump people probably see him as the biggest threat of all. You know, um, although, I mean, Trump right now, I will say, and of somebody who's been critical of Trump recently, man, he seems really strong. And you know my theory. My theory, I had this theory, which I still kind of believe in. I really do. Uh, even though, you know, my belief is not as strong as it was just a minute ago. I'm going to play the video in a second. I pro you know, as it was uh, just a month ago, that Trump and Hillary conspired to fix the 2016 election and that she lost it on purpose for whatever reason, dude. And she just, she just, just she, she intentionally... Didn't campaign hard. She intentionally avoided states he needed to win. Ohio, Iowa, whatever, dude. Name it. And um, and lost it on purpose. That's my theory. And I still I still have some strong beliefs on that. Tell you what, if Joe Biden beats him, I'll believe it a lot more. But well, here's, here's the video of it. I'm going to expect to be talking to you about a whole lot of issues. And I'll always be direct with you. Today, I want to talk about just as a support and encouragement that I've made to women and some men. I've made them uncomfortable. And I've always tried to be, uh, in my career, I've always tried to make a human connection. That's my responsibility, I think. I shake hands. I hug people. I, I grab men and women by the shoulders and say, you can do this. And, and uh, whether they're women, men, young, old, it's, it's the way I've always been. It's the way I've tried to show I care about them and I'm listening. And over the years, knowing what I've been through, the things that I've faced, I've found that scores, if not hundreds of people have come up to me and reached out for solace and comfort, something, something, anything that may help them get through the tragedy they're going through. And, and, uh, and, and so I, it's just, just who, who I am. And I've never thought of politics as cold and antiseptic. I, I've always thought it about connecting with people. As I said, shaking hands, uh, hands on the shoulder, a hug, uh, encouragement. And now, and now it, it's all about taking selfies together. Uh, you know, social norms have begun to change. They've shifted. And the boundaries of protecting personal space have been reset. And I get it. I get it. I hear what they're saying. I understand it. And I'll be much more mindful. That's my responsibility. My responsibility, and I'll meet it. But I'll always believe, governing, quite frankly, life for that matter, is about connecting, about connecting with people. That won't change, but I will be more mindful and respectful of people's personal space. And that's a good thing. That's a good thing. I've worked my whole life to empower women. I've worked my whole life to prevent abuse. I've written a and, and so the idea that I can adjust to the fact that personal space is important, more important than it's ever been, is, is, is just not thinkable. I will. I will. I don't know, man. You know, maybe it's not a good thing to be uh, uh, liked by somebody who's a conservative, Republican, libertarian like myself. 
But I like that statement, and I like the dude, man. So I think he's the Democrats' best hope. But I don't know. I'm, like, really confused these days. But I still think Trump and Hillary fixed it. I do. I see what's going on in Virginia and stuff, other things. I even, uh, you know, I don't know. I don't want to get into it now. That's the end of this video. Thanks for watching my videos. Please subscribe to my channel. And uh, give me a like down below. I'll see you in the next video. Later, man.